Zoe Zebra, the postman's daughter. Mr Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Zoe Zebra is with her daddy today. She has her own letters to deliver. Hmm. Danny Dog, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit. Ah, Pepper and George. Just these ones left. Good. Let's get them delivered. Yes, sir. Post! <laughs> Pepper and George love it when the post arrives. We've got two letters. This one's for Daddy Pig. How exciting. Dear Mr Pig, please pay your telephone bill. Oh. What's a bill? It sounds very boring. <laughs> Bills are very boring. Mummy, is the other letter for you? No, this one's for Pepper and George. Wow! A letter for George and me. Please come to my birthday party. Love, Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra has invited Pepper and George to her birthday party. Yippee! <laughs> You need to write a reply to Zoe to tell her you are coming to her party. Can you help us write it, Mummy? Of course. Pepper and George are writing a reply to Zoe. What would you like to say? Dear Zoe. Dear Zoe. Um, I don't know what to say next. How about, we would love to come to your party. Kind regards. Pepper and George. <laughs> what colour envelope shall we use? The red one. Miss Zoe Zebra. And last of all, the stamp. <laughs> the letter is ready to be posted. This is the post box. Here are Danny, Susie, Pedro, Rebecca and Emily Elephant. They are all posting letters. <laughs> And here is Peppa with her letter. There. Now what happens? Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. Did you get my letter about my party? Yes. And I've written you a reply. Oh, goody. My goodness. So many letters today. And this letter is mine. It is very, very important. Is it for me? Can I open it now? It is for you, Zoe. But it must be delivered before you can open it. That's how the post works. Oh. And with so many letters to deliver today, I'd better make a start. Can George and I come along too? Hop aboard, Pepper and George. <laughs> See you later. Pepper and George are helping Mr Zebra deliver the post. This is Zoe Zebra's house. This letter is addressed to Miss Zoe Zebra. Miss Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Oh, all the post is for Zoe. That's my letter. Can I post it? Certainly. <laughs> Peppa loves posting letters. Mummy, look. All these letters are for me. Oh, amazing. Can you read it, Mummy? Dear Zoe, I would love to come to your party from Danny Dog. Susie Sheep's coming to your party too. And Rebecca, Pedro, Emily, Candy, they're all coming to your party. And this letter is from me. It says, we are coming to your party. Love and kisses, Peppa and George. <laughs> Everyone has arrived for Zoe's party. Happy birthday, Zoe! Wow, so many presents. You'll be writing lots of thank you letters, Zoe. Oh, and who's going to deliver all those thank you letters? You are, Daddy. <laughs> but I can help. <laughs> Sleepover. It is night time. Pepper is going to a sleepover at Zoe Zebra's house. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. Hi, Pepper. Welcome to my sleepover. I'll pick you up in the morning. Bye bye, Pepper. Bye. <laughs> Rebecca, Susie, and Emily are already here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pepper. Pepper. I've got my teddy. Hello, everyone. 
Zoe has her toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Emily has her frog. Susie has her owl. Twit -twoo. And Rebecca has her carrot. Carrot, carrot. <laughs> Mr. Zebra is watching television. <laughs> That's better. I was watching that. But it was a bit boring, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Zebra is going to bed now. He has to get up early to deliver the post. Very well, Mummy Zebra. Don't stay up too late. Good night, Mummy. Peppa and her friends are getting into their sleeping bags. <laughs> Zoe's baby twin sisters, Zuzu and Zaza, want to join the sleepover too. <laughs> the sleepover is only for big girls. <laughs> oh. They're so sweet and little. Can they stay? OK, but you must promise you'll stay awake. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a piano. I'm having lessons. Listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can I have a go? And, and me. me. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Shush! You must be quiet so Daddy Zebra can sleep. Now, into your sleeping bags, please. What do we do now? On sleepovers, there's always a midnight feast. What's a midnight feast? We eat things in secret. Ooh! I know where there's food, but we must be very quiet. <laughs> Shh, Susie. Shh, Peppa. Quiet. Mummy Zebra has woken up. We're going to have the best midnight feast ever. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You'll wake Daddy Zebra. Now, who knows a nice, gentle bedtime story? Me. And me. I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy. Now your turn, Peppa. And she lived in the forest. She was very pretty. And she had a fairy wand. Lovely. Your turn, Emily. Tell us what happens next. Well, I'm not really sure. Just say anything, Emily. As long as it's not boring. OK. The little fairy met a big monster who went... Eek! <laughs> Too scary! <laughs> What's all this noise? Oh, dear. The noise has woken Mr Zebra. Sorry, Daddy. There was a story about a fairy. And a scary monster. And we want to know what happens next. Very well. <clears throat> The monster lifted up his big, hairy paws oh. and walked along on his big, hairy feet. Ooh. And he said... Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Mr Zebra's song has sent everyone to sleep. Peppa and her friends are going on a school bus trip. Children! <laughs> Children! Attention, please. Let's check that you're all here. Peppa and George. Here! <laughs> Rebecca and Richard Rabbit. Here! Squeak! 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 Susie Sheep. Here! <laughs> Zoe Zebra. Here! Danny Dog. Here! <laughs> Emily Elephant. Here! Pedro Pony. Pedro Pony is not here. <laughs> Sorry we're late. Pedro, you almost missed the school trip. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Never mind, you're just in time. All aboard! Hey. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the bus driver. Full steam ahead. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> 
<laughs> Children, attention please. Today we are going on a trip to the mountains. Hooray! Have you all got your lunch boxes? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. Madam Gazelle, please can we eat our lunch now? Peppa, we'll eat lunch when we arrive in the mountains. Peppa, what have you got in your lunch box? A red apple. I've got a green apple. <laughs> Swap. OK. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, what are you doing? Susie told me to open my lunch box. Peppa told me to swap our apples. Oh, that's fine. But please, save some food for the picnic. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> the bus has arrived at the foot of the mountains. The mountain road is very steep. Come on, bus. You can make it. Come on, bus. Peppa and her friends are at the top of the mountain. Look at the view. Wow! 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 Who said that? It's your echo. What's my echo? An echo is the sound you hear when you speak loudly in the mountains. Like this. Yodle! 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 Echoes are fun. Time for our picnic. <laughs> Peppa loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Where are the ducks? They always turn up when we have picnics. Silly Peppa. Ducks don't live on top of mountains. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Would you like some bread? <coughs> the ducks are very lucky today. There is lots of bread. The ducks are eating too quickly. <coughs> Goodness me. <coughs> <coughs> Home time! All aboard! It's time to go home. Everybody has had a great time. <laughs> Let's all sing a song. Can we have the Bing Bong song, please? Oh, oh. Please, please, Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the Bing Bong, bong song. song. All right. We're playing our tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo. Pirate Island. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is taking Peppa and her friends for a day out on his boat. Everyone on board. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. Full sail. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are all wearing life jackets. George, you could wear my pirate hat. <laughs> Today we are sailing to Pirate Island. Ooh. If we're lucky, we might find buried treasure. Wow! Pirate Island sounds like a great place. Land ahoy! <laughs> Here we are. Pirate Island. Hooray! What's that? It's a metal detector. It finds buried treasure. Ooh. Grandpa Pig is using the metal detector to find buried treasure. Aha! The metal detector has found something. Let's dig it up. It's a little coin. Treasure! Let's find some more. Ah, we found something else. 
It sounds big. <laughs> My goodness! This piece of treasure is quite heavy. Oh dear. That is not buried treasure. That is a rusty old shopping trolley. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's enough treasure hunting. Who wants to help build a big sandcastle? Me! What a good idea, Granny Pig. Now I'll just check on the boot. Granny Pig is going to help the children build a big sandcastle. And Grandpa Pig is doing important boat things. Ah, this is nice. Oh, maybe I'll just close my eyes for a little bit. <laughs> Granny and the children are making a big sandcastle. They need lots and lots of sand. They use buckets to make the castle's turrets. <laughs> what a splendid castle. Hooray! <laughs> Time to go home. Oh, where's the boat gone? Look, Granny. Oh, no. Grandpa Pig is fast asleep and the boat is drifting away. We have to wake Grandpa up. Shout as loudly as you can. Grandpa Pig! Oh, no! Grandpa Pig is still asleep. Grandpa's too far away to hear us. We're stuck on Pirate Island. We're castaways. <laughs> we'll be here for a hundred years. We'll have to eat wild fruit and berries. <laughs> and we'll have to eat insects and slugs. <laughs> <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Oh, where am I? Hello? hello? Uh, hello, everyone. Have you had a nice time? Yes. Uh, uh actually, I just left something behind. Back in a tick. Look! There's Grandpa. We're saved! Hooray! Welcome aboard, me hearties. Naughty Grandpa Pig. We thought you'd left us behind. Sorry about that, Granny Pig. Next time, I promise not to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Pirate Island. See you again soon. I love Pirate Island. Can we visit it again? Oh, oh of course we can, Pepper. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Swimming! Peppa and her family are at the swimming pool. Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. Peppa is wearing her swimming costume. Hurry up, George. Everyone's waiting. George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> Peppa, George, let Daddy put on your armbands. <laughs> There, George. Your armbands make you look very grown up. <laughs> now me! <laughs> Good. Now we can go in the water. <laughs> <laughs> it is George's first time at the swimming pool. Why don't you put just one foot into the water? Maybe you should try the other foot. Maybe George should try both feet at the same time. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. But you don't need to splash quite so much. <laughs> Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> Richard, hold on to this float and you can practice kicking your legs. George, would you like to try kicking your legs? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, but try not to splash. Big children don't splash. We're very good at swimming. When George and Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us. Won't they, Rebecca? Yes. 
Oh. Richard has a toy watering can. Stop it, Richard. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Richard has dropped his watering can into the pool. Sorry, Richard. I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy! I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy. Your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Peppa. Don't splash us with water, Daddy. I told you I wouldn't splash. <laughs> <laughs> Clever, Daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the boat pond. The ducks are swimming in their pond. They are very happy. Here are Pepper, George, Mummy Pig, and Daddy Pig. Hello, ducks. <laughs> The ducks want some bread. Sorry, Mrs Duck. We haven't got any bread today. We've got something much more fun. Peppa has brought her toy boat. <laughs> and George has brought his toy boat. <laughs> Let's wind your boat up, George. George's boat works with clockwork. Quick, George. Put the boat in the pond before the clockwork runs out. George loves his clockwork boat. Mummy, can you wind my boat up? Your boat doesn't need winding up, Peppa. Peppa's boat is a sailboat. The wind makes it go along. I don't like my boat. It doesn't do anything. That's because there isn't any wind today. Maybe it just needs a little help. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your boat along. <sighs> <laughs> it went really fast. Peppa loves her sailboat. <laughs> Here is Peppa's friend, Susie Sheep. Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. <laughs> We're playing with our boats. <laughs> I've got my speedboat. Is it clockwork? No, it has batteries. Susie's speedboat uses batteries to make it go. What a great speedboat. Sorry, Mrs. Duck. Here is Danny Dog with Grandad Dog. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Danny. Danny. My granddad has made me this paddle boat. Ooh. I say, that's impressive. How does it work? It's steam powered. I just push this little lever. <laughs> Wow! What a fantastic paddle boat. Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her mummy. Hello, everyone. Hello, Rebecca. 
We're playing with our boats. I wish I had a boat. Rebecca Rabbit does not have a boat. I've got an idea. Luckily, I brought my newspaper along. I just need one page. Which page can we lose? News? Sport? Ah, fashion. Not the fashion page. OK, I'll use the business page. When I was a little piggy, I used to fold newspaper like this. What is Daddy Pig doing? To make a paper boat. Daddy Pig has made a paper boat. Thank you, Mr Pig. <laughs> George wants a paper boat too. Oh, oh, I suppose I can do without the sports page. <laughs> Please, can I have one? And, and me. me. <laughs> of course. Daddy Pig is making paper boats for everyone. Let's have a race. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We can huff and puff and blow the paper boats across. Everyone take a deep breath. <gasps> Ready, steady, blow! We have a winner! Uh, who had the sports page? That's George's boat. George is the winner. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I like boats and I like paper boats the best. Me too! <laughs> it's time to go home. Everybody has had a great time. Bye-bye! Bye-bye, ducks. See you soon. The ducks enjoyed the toy boats, but they quite like having the pond back to themselves again. Sports day. Today is the school sports day. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are all here. The first event is running. <laughs> the children have to run as fast as they can. I think I will win. I can run very fast. <laughs> I'm faster than you. Ready, steady, go! I can run at a hundred miles an hour. I can run at a million miles an hour. Peppa, Susie, stop talking and run! Oh! Rebecca Rabbit is in the lead. Oh dear, Peppa and Susie are right at the back. Come on, Peppa! Come on, Daddy! Rebecca Rabbit wins. <laughs> and Peppa and Susie are last. The winner of the race is Rebecca Rabbit. Hooray! Thank you. <laughs> I would have won if you hadn't been talking to me, Susie. Now, now, Peppa. Remember, it's not winning that matters, but taking part. Yes, Daddy. The next event is the long jump. <laughs> George and Richard have to see who can jump the furthest. George, run as fast as you can, then jump as far as you can. George, ready, steady, go! <laughs> George has jumped as far as he can. And now it's Richard Rabbit's turn. If Richard doesn't run, he won't jump very far. Richard Rabbit, ready, steady, go. Richard <laughs> Rabbit has jumped further than George. And the winner is Richard Rabbit. Hooray! <laughs> George, remember, it's not the winning that matters, but taking part. <laughs> the next race is the relay. Each child needs to pick a parent to race with. Peppa, pick me! Pick me! But, Daddy, you're not very good at running. I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> All right, Daddy, but you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race and then hand the batons to the children. Mummies and daddies, ready, steady, go! <laughs> run, Daddy! Run, Daddy! Daddy Pig is in the lead. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Thank you, Daddy. You did very well.
Now it's my turn to Pepper, stop talking and run! Oh! <laughs> Keep on running. running! Keep on running! Go on! And the winner is Emily Elephant. Hooray! <laughs> oh, Daddy, I haven't won a prize yet. Don't worry, Peppa. There's still one more event. And now for the last event of the day. The tug of war. Boys against girls. <laughs> when I say go, you must pull the rope with all your strength. The girls will win. <laughs> no, they won't. The boys will win. Ready, steady, go. Come on, boys. Come on, pull. Come on, the girls. Pull. I am pulling. Everyone is pulling so hard, the rope is breaking. Whoa! <laughs> and the result is a draw. So both teams win. Hooray! I love the school sports day, especially when I win a prize. <laughs> George's birthday. Today is George's birthday. It is very early in the morning. <laughs> George, it's too early. Dinosaur. Go back to bed. <laughs> it sounds like someone's up bright and early. Happy birthday, George. George woke me up. You woke everyone up on your birthday, Peppa. That was different. That was my birthday. And today is George's birthday. Uh, happy birthday, George. <laughs> Here's your present, George. Ooh. Dinosaur! <laughs> I knew it would be some sort of Dinosaur thingy. Ho, ah. <laughs> Squeeze its tummy. <laughs> Too scary! <laughs> <laughs> George, I've made you a birthday card. Can you guess what the picture is? George cannot guess. I was going to paint you a flower. Oh. George does not like flowers. But in the end, I painted you a... Dinosaur! That's a lovely picture, Peppa. Yes, I'm very good at painting. <laughs> now, we're going somewhere very special for George's birthday treat. Yippee! Let's go! Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> the family are setting off for George's birthday treat. Are we going to the circus? No, but it's somewhere just as good. Um, is it the cinema? No, much better. I just can't guess. Where can they be going? We're here. The family have arrived at the museum. Why are we at the museum? Come on, you'll see. What can George's birthday treat be? George? What do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> Be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and. <laughs> and now there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! 
What an amazing guest, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? What do you think it is, Peppa? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Peppa loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George, why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? <laughs> it is a dinosaur. A bouncy dinosaur. Hooray! <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. <laughs> this is great! Happy birthday, George! <laughs> painting. Pepper and George are painting today. We need some old newspaper to put on the table. Yes! <laughs> Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. You can have my newspaper when I've finished reading it. <laughs> All right. Hooray! <laughs> now we can start painting. Silly George. Big children do not put their hands in the paint. <laughs> George loves painting with his hands. Peppa loves painting with her hands. <laughs> Very good. Can I have a potato, Mummy Pig? They aren't cooked yet, Daddy Pig. Are you hungry, Daddy? I'm not going to eat it. Watch this. What is Daddy Pig doing? Ooh. Now, who can tell me what this is? <laughs> Clever, Daddy. Oh, 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 I loved painting when I was a young piggy. Now, where are my old painting things? <laughs> Daddy, why are you wearing that funny hat? Oh, 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 this is my beret. It puts me in the mood for painting pictures. Now, what shall I paint? <laughs> Well chosen, George. I'll paint the old cherry tree. What's that? It's an easel, Pepper. It holds my canvas. What's a canvas? It's a bit like paper for very special paintings. Is that toothpaste? Oh, oh no, Pepper. These are special paints for grown up artists. There. What colour shall we begin with? Red, please. Why red, Pepper? Red is my favourite colour. But first we need to paint the sky. Look, what colour is it? Blue, of course. Very good. Let's start with blue. <laughs> now for the cherry tree. We need green for the leaves. But there isn't any green. Never mind. If we mix blue paint with yellow paint, we can make green. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Ooh! What lovely green leaves. And here's some grass. What about the branches? We haven't got brown paint. We can make brown. We'll mix the green and the red. Mixing green and red makes brown. Ooh! Daddy Pig paints the tree trunk and the branches. Wow! Can I paint the cherries? Yes, Peppa. Put your finger in the paint and dab it onto the tree. <laughs> One, two, three. Well done. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> <laughs> what a great painter you are, George. <laughs> there. The painting is finished. Hooray! <laughs> Oh, it's the ducks. Hello, Mrs. Duck. We're painting a picture. The ducks are running through Daddy's paint. Shoo, shoo, naughty ducks. Shoo, ducks, shoo. Stay away from our painting. <laughs> oh, no. The ducks have made paint footprints all over the painting. Oh, dear. What was all that noise? 
Mummy, the ducks have spoiled our painting. Hmm, let me see. The ducks are making paint footprints in the garden, just like the ones on the painting. Daddy's painting isn't spoiled, Pepper. It's perfect. Hooray! Oh, yes. I am a bit of an expert at painting. And so are the ducks. <laughs> 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 Baby Piggy. Pepper and George are visiting their big cousin, Chloe. Today, as well as seeing Chloe, you are going to meet your new cousin. Ooh. Pepper and her family have arrived at Chloe's house. Hello. Hello, Hello everyone. Hello, Pepper and George. This is Chloe, Pepper and George's big cousin. But where's our new cousin? Here's your new baby cousin. Ooh. The new cousin is a tiny baby piggy. Goo, goo, goo. <sniffs> oh, how beautiful. Is it a girl, baby? No, it's a boy. Oh, I wish it was a girl. Me too. <laughs> George is pleased the baby is a boy. Dinosaur. <sniffs> I think the baby's too little to play with dinosaurs. George. The baby doesn't want to play with you. It wants to play with me. Pepper, the baby is much too little to play ball games. But if it can't play with a dinosaur or a ball, what can it do? It eats and it sleeps. <coughs> and it does that. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Pig, can I hold the baby? Yes. If you're very careful, you can hold Alexander. Alexander? That's his name. Baby Alexander. What a big name for such a small piggy. It's quite nice, even though it's a boy. Goo, goo, goo. Oh, what's that smell? Maybe Alexander's nappy needs changing. Ugh, disgusting. Peppa, when you were a baby, you wore nappies. I did not. <laughs> 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 Mummy, can I play with Peppa and George in the garden? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, is it nice having a little baby brother? Yes. Alexander is very sweet. I wish George was a sweet little baby piggy. I know. George can pretend to be a baby piggy. He can go in my doll's pram. That's a good idea. No. George does not want to be a baby. George, if you pretend to be a baby, I promise to be nice to you forever and ever. George is thinking. And you can play with all my toys. George is thinking more. And when we get home, you can play with all my toys. <laughs> George has decided. Goo, goo, goo. What a sweet baby piggy. <laughs> Here are Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit and Zoe Zebra. Hello. <laughs> Why is George in that doll's pram? It's not George. It's a baby piggy. Goo, goo. But it is George. George is a pretend baby piggy. Ah! Is this a girl or a boy? It's a girl. No. George does not want to be a girl, baby. OK, it's a boy. <laughs> I've got some cookies. Would the baby piggy like one? Oh, no. It can't eat cookies. <laughs> George likes cookies. Maybe it can have one cookie. <laughs> goo goo! It's so clever and so handsome! <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. It's the best baby piggy ever. George likes this game. <laughs> Here is Auntie Pig with baby Alexander. Wow! A proper real baby piggy! <laughs> it's so gorgeous! It's much sweeter than George. Oh dear, George liked being the baby piggy. Oh, George, you'll always be my baby piggy. <laughs> Maybe it's time for a new game. How about some dinosaur chasing? <laughs> Eat! Too scary! <laughs> George liked being a baby piggy, but he likes being George more. Little tray. Peppa 
Peppa and George have come to play in Granny and Grandpa's garden. What's that noise? Grandpa's making something. Hello, Peppa and George. That's perfect timing. I've just finished making it. And may we ask what it is? <laughs> I'll show you. Wow! A little toy train. It's not a toy. This is Gertrude. She's a miniature locomotive. But doesn't it need railway tracks to run on? Oh, no. I fitted Gertrude with car wheels so she can go anywhere she likes. Grandpa, can we ride in Gertrude? Hop aboard. <laughs> Full steam ahead. Bye-bye, Granny. See you later. Peppa and George love Grandpa's little train. Grandpa's little train goes choo-choo-choo. 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 Grandpa's little train goes choo-choo-choo all day long. And the piggies on the train go oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. oink. Oink, oink, oink. And the piggies on the train go oink, oink, oink all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. I see you're playing toy trains. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. How's your little lorry? Little lorry? My breakdown truck is a proper work vehicle. Grandad, can I ride on the train? Hmm, it's your choice, Danny. If you'd rather play trains than. Thanks, Grandad. <laughs> See you later. Miss Rabbit is driving the school bus. And to our left, we can see some hills with trees. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All Peppa's friends are here. Can we ride on the train? Um, I'm giving the children an educational bus tour. Are trains educational? They certainly are. Uh, hands up, all those who want to ride on the train. Me! Me! And hands up, all those who want to stay on the bus. OK. You can all go on the train and I'll follow along behind. <laughs> What a lot of mud. We don't want to get stuck. Maybe we should go a different way. It's only a patch of mud. Come on, Gertrude. You can make it. Come on, Buff. You can make it. The bus is stuck in the mud. Oh, bother. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How are you today? I'm a bit stuck. Can you rescue me? Certainly. Is your truck strong enough? Trust me. Did it work? Uh, no. We need a vehicle with more power. Can I help in any way? Uh, it's nothing that I can't deal with. Uh, thanks, anyway. I've got an idea. Grandpa Pig's train can tow me out of the mud. Uh, good thinking, Miss Rabbit. Grandpa's little train is going to pull the bus out of the mud. Full steam. Come on, Gertrude! Ah! Gertrude! Yeah! Oh, oh, well done. It's amazing. What can be done by a toy train? Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. Gertrude is the very best train in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> ice skating. Peppa and her family are going ice skating today. This will be fun. Peppa and George <laughs> have never been ice skating before. Now, George. You won't be very good at ice skating, so just do what I do. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all be very good. Yes, especially me. <laughs> <laughs> First, we need some skates. At the ice rink, everyone wears skates. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Squeak. Hello, Mummy Pig. 
We'd like to hire some skates, please. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy skating. <laughs> Here are Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit, Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra, Candy Cat, Emily Elephant and Pedro Pony. Peppa's friends can ice skate very well. Peppa wants to ice skate too. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. <laughs> Is this your first time skating? Yes. Shall I show you how to skate? No, thank you, Susie. I'm sure I can already do it. OK, come on, then. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. I don't want to do ice skating anymore. Don't worry, Pepper. Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oops a daisy. Ho ho. Silly daddy. <laughs> <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before, and he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Peppa how to skate. Skating is easy, Peppa. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. Well done, Pepper. <laughs> Look at me. I'm skating. Pepper is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Slow down, Pepper. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Where are the brakes? Oh dear, I forgot to teach Pepper how to stop. Oh. Ah! I can't stop! Look out! Whoa! <laughs> 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 Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, but I taught you how to fall over. Yes, I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> George, do you want to skate too? No. Come on, George. It's fun. I'll teach you. Hit him. First, you need to... Whee! George, come back. I'm teaching you how to ice skate. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. George can skate beautifully. Wow! Look at George! <laughs> Well done, George. You're fantastic, George. Yes, you did very well, George, for your first lesson. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's skate. Yes! <laughs> Pepper and George love ice skating. Everyone loves ice skating. Mummy and Daddy taught me how to skate, but I taught George. <laughs> <laughs> George catches a cold. Today it is raining a little bit. <laughs> Peppa, George, put your rain clothes on. When it rains, Peppa and George must wear their rain clothes. Yuck! George does not like wearing his rain hat. George, you must keep your hat on. Why? Because you must keep dry. Why? Because you might catch a cold. Why? George, do you want to play in the garden? <coughs> then keep your hat on. <coughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> Yuck! George does not want to wear his rain hat. <laughs> George! Come inside. The rain's too heavy to play in now. Oh, George, where's your hat? Achoo. 
George has caught a cold. Achoo! Oh, poor little George. You don't sound well. <coughs> don't worry. I'll ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. I see. Put George to bed and I'll be straight round. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. Goodbye. Will George be taken to hospital and given medicine? No. George just has to go to bed. Oh, so George is not really properly ill. Achoo! Ugh, that's disgusting. <coughs> Poor George. Let's get you straight to bed. George, you have to stay in bed for a bit. No. George does not want to stay in bed. Achoo! George, you have to stay in bed until you are better. Why? Because you have to keep warm. Why? Uh, because Dr Brown Bear says so. Hello, where's my patient? <gasps> Open wide and say, ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm, Pepper, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say, ah? Of course. Ah. <laughs> Ah! Hmm, George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. George has been in bed all day. Now it is Pepper's bedtime. George, are you better? George is not better. George, please don't sneeze so loudly. <coughs> <sighs> this is impossible. George, here's some nice warm milk to help you sleep. <sighs> the warm milk makes George feel very, very sleepy. Good night, my little piggies. Ah, <sighs> it's so nice and quiet. It is morning. George has slept very well. <laughs> George is better. <laughs> Come on, everyone. It's a lovely sunny day. George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat. Why? Because it's hot and sunny. Why? George, can you stop saying why all the time? Why? <laughs> <laughs> George certainly is better. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. <laughs> They're going to play in their treehouse. <laughs> Pepper and George love their treehouse. Here are Pepper and George's friends, Zoe, Susie, <laughs> Rebecca and Richard. I like your treehouse, Pepper. Can we come in? Yes. <laughs> Now we can have a tea party. <laughs> Here are Pedro and Danny. Hey. Hello, Peppa. Can we come in? Sorry, Danny. Only girls can come into the treehouse. Boys are a bit noisy. They always buy all the tea parties. But George and Richard are boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, George. This tree house is for girls only. What's wrong? The girls won't let us into the tree house. It isn't fair. Ho oh, ho, I think I can help. Come over here. Now we can have a nice quiet tea party. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? There. Now you boys have your very own den with its very own drawbridge. 
<laughs> a castle! Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Can we come in? No. This is a boys' den for boys only. But I love castles. Castles aren't as good as tree houses. Come on, girls. I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> Every castle needs a flag. Wow! They've got a flag. We don't need a silly flag. Here is Granny Pig. Hello, girls. Can I get you anything? A flag, please. And it must be better than the boys' flag. I'll see what I can do. I'm the king of the castle. Ho, ho! Every castle needs a telephone. Hold this. Keep this string nice and tight and you can talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the girls. <coughs> Granny Pig has found a flag for the girls' den. This dress will make a pretty flag. Thank you, Granny. It isn't as good as the boys' flag. I wish we were in the castle. Fairy princesses live in castles. If I were a fairy princess, I would live in a tree house. Can we come over, please? Only if you say the castle is the best. It is the best. <laughs> I'm staying in my tree house. <laughs> I love the castle. <laughs> oh dear, it is raining and the castle has no roof. Let's go to the tree house. No, I'll never leave my castle. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> The rain has stopped. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. That looks fun. <laughs> I'm staying in my castle. I'm staying in my tree house. Oh, oh. I'll look after your castle, Danny. I'll look after your tree house, Peppa. <laughs> Pepper and Danny love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are girls or boys. Rebecca Rabbit. It is the end of another lovely day. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing with their friends, Rebecca and Richard Rabbit. Home time, my little bunnies. Oh, but we want to play some more, Mummy. Maybe tomorrow. Can Pepper and George come to our house tomorrow? Yes! Hooray! <laughs> Why is Richard crying? He's a bit scared of going downstairs. Why? We don't have stairs in our home. What? No stairs? That's right. You'll see tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> It is morning. Peppa and George are going to Rebecca Rabbit's house today. <laughs> Mummy Pig can drive and I'll do the map reading. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? We always get lost when you do the map reading. <laughs> we won't get lost. OK. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Mummy, Mummy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Peppa and George are very excited. They have never been to Rebecca Rabbit's house before. Daddy, are we nearly there? The map says Rebecca's house is on the next hill. I don't understand. This should be where Rebecca Rabbit lives. We must be lost. There's just this garden of carrots. Where can Rebecca Rabbit's house be? Squeak! Hello, everyone. Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> Rebecca! Do you want to play in my bedroom? Your bedroom? But where is your house? Peppa cannot see Rebecca's house anywhere. This hill is our house. It's called a burrow. Ooh! I'll show you. See you later. See you later. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have stairs. 
We have tunnels. Wow! Rebecca's house is a bit different to Peppa's. This is our bedroom. Wow! You have a bed and a window and a toy box, just like us. Of course. <laughs> I like your house. I wish I was a rabbit. I know. Shall I teach you both how to be rabbits? Yes, please. <laughs> First, you have to twitch your nose and squeak, like this. Squeak, squeak! Squeak, squeak! <laughs> Very good, Peppa Rabbit and George Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa likes being a rabbit. George likes being a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots. Delicious! Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Yuck! George does not like carrots. He won't even try them. Oh, well, more for us then. <laughs> Rebecca, what else do rabbits like? Rabbits like hopping. Come outside, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop. <laughs> rabbits like hopping. You're very good, rabbit. Lunchtime, children! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Rabbit have prepared lunch. Squeak. Rebecca has taught us how to be rabbits. Squeak! Squeak! Oh, ho, ho. you'll enjoy lunch then. It's our favourite. Carrots. Delicious! Delicious! Yuck! George will not eat carrots. Oh, dear, George. I thought you were a rabbit. Rabbits love carrots. Squeak! Squeak! Mmm. Wow! George is eating a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our favourite cake. Carrot cake. Hooray! Mmm. Carrot cake. <laughs> George is a proper rabbit now. Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> Pen pal. Peppa and her friends are at their playgroup. Children, who would like a pen pal? Me! 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 What's a pen pal? A pen pal is a boy or girl you can write letters to. This little girl lives in France. Her name is Delphine Donkey. Can Delphine Donkey be my pen pal? Of course, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> it is early morning. Mr Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Post! Peppa and George <laughs> love it when the post arrives. It's addressed to Miss Peppa Pig. That's me! Mummy, can you read it for me? Of course. It's from Delphine Donkey. My pen pal! <laughs> what does she say? Bonjour, Peppa. Comment ça va? Mummy, why are you saying those funny words? It's French, Peppa. It means, hello, how are you? What else does she say? Hmm. I'll help. Jame les princesses et jouer avec mes amis. <laughs> Clever daddy. <laughs> I am an expert at French. What does it mean? Um... Daddy Pig cleans his glasses so he can see the letter more clearly. Hmm. It's no good. It's nonsense. It means I like fairy princesses and playing with my friends. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk French. Maybe you could talk to Delphine Donkey. How? Her phone number is on this letter. Yippee! <laughs> Bonjour. Est-il possible que Peppa parle à Delphine? Mummy Pig is asking if Peppa may speak to Delphine. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Um, what do I say next? Comment ça va? Comment ça va? <laughs> bye bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. What did she say? She spoke French. <clears throat> Bonjour, George. 
Como ça va? Peppa is saying, how are you, in French. Dinosaur. No, George. That's not how you speak French. <laughs> it is morning. Mr Zebra the postman is delivering letters to Peppa's house. Post! Hooray! <laughs> Can I have my letter from Delphine, please? Sorry, Peppa. There's no letter for you today. Aww. I wonder who that could be. Bonjour, I am Delphine Donkey. Oh, I have come to see Peppa. It's Delphine! Bonjour! <coughs> Bonjour, Peppa. Oh. Here are my maman and papa and my brother Didier. Bonjour! Oh. Here are my mummy and daddy and my little brother George. Hello! <coughs> Dinosaur. <coughs> Dragon. <coughs> 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 Do you speak French, Mr. Pig? I'm an expert at French. Ah, parlons sport. J'adore l'équipe de foot de Paris. Quelle est votre équipe de foot préférée? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Delphine, we could jump up and down in muddy puddles. Delphine does not understand Peppa. J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Peppa does not understand Delphine. Everything's so different in French, Daddy. Oh, come on, Peppa! <laughs> <laughs> J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Ah, that's what I was going to show you. We call it jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh, J'adore jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Everyone in the whole world loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> School camp. Peppa and her friends are going on a school camp. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I don't feel very well. The bus is very bumpy. Oh dear, Pedro Pony is feeling a bit travel sick. Poor Pedro. Come and sit in the front with me. <laughs> there. Is that better? A little bit. Madam Gazelle. Oh, do you feel sick too, Zoe? I might feel sick later. Can I sit at the front just in case? Can I sit at the front too? And, and me! me. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, children. You can't all sit at the front. Oh, never mind. We're at the campsite now. Hooray! <laughs> Is our campsite. Breathe in the wonderful fresh air, children. <gasps> Excellent breathing. Now let's put up our tents. Peppa and her friends are putting up their tents. <laughs> children, you must each find a partner to share your tent. Susie, shall we share a tent? <laughs> I said I'd share with Zoe. Oh, sorry, Susie. I said I'd share with Rebecca. Rebecca, you said you'd share with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Emily, who are you going to share a tent with? Um, Zoe. OK, good. Now you can share with me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> now, I need sticks to make a campfire. We'll get sticks. But me and Pedro want to get sticks. Ha ha, you can all collect <laughs> sticks. <laughs> Peppa and her friends collect sticks for the campfire. <laughs> Wonderful. It is night time. Peppa and her friends are sitting around the campfire. Children, let's all sing a song. Yes! The Bing Bong song, please. Oh, I'm not sure. Please, please Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the, the Bing, Bing Bong, Bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Oh, now 
Now, children, time for bed. <laughs> Good night, children. Good night, Mademoiselle. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are in their sleeping bags. I've got a torch. Me too. <laughs> Attention, children. No more giggling, please. What was that funny noise? I don't know. There it is again. <laughs> Susie, where are you going? Madam Gazelle! <laughs> I'm a bit scared. Oh, would you like to come in? Yes, please. <coughs> Madam Gazelle, <coughs> I think I'm a bit scared too. Can I come in, please? Of course. <laughs> I think I might be scared later. I might be scared later too. And, and me. me. Come in, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have the bing bong song, please? All right. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Captain Daddy Pig. Peppa and her family are borrowing Grandpa's boat for the day. Remember, Daddy Pig, push the lever forward to go forward. Aye, aye, Grandpa Pig. Forward. And back. To go back. And back. Simple. And please look after my boat. I've just had it painted. Oh, Grandpa Pig, what an old fuss pot you are. <laughs> <laughs> are my crew ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Oh, the boat is moving backwards. Ah! Watch out for the bridge! Oops. Oh, that was close. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a lovely time. I hope my boat comes back in one piece. Stop worrying. It will be fine. Peppa, ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit hungry. So am I. Grandpa's left us a picnic in the galley. What's a galley? A galley is a boat's little kitchen. Follow me. Pepper and George are going inside the boat. Wow! <laughs> what a tiny little kitchen. Where's the picnic? The obvious place would be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a picnic. Then it must be here. And that's not a picnic. This kitchen has everything in the wrong place. Wow! TV! Daddy Pig cannot find the picnic. It's impossible. If this was my kitchen, the picnic would be here. Oh, well done, Peppa. Peppa has found the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious! <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Duck. Would you like some bread? <laughs> Peppa and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> Look out! Long reeds ahead. Don't worry. Grandpa's boat will easily go through them. Are we stuck? No. We can reverse. Now are we stuck? Yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the reeds. I'll just give it a little push. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. When I say go, start the engine. Aye, aye, Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Go! Daddy Pig has pushed the boat out of the reeds. Hooray! Quick, Daddy! Jump back on the boat! <laughs> oh, no! Daddy Pig is being left behind. Swim faster, Daddy! Stop the engine! What's he saying? Stop the engine! Daddy says, stop the engine! Oh. Are you OK, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. But let's head for home before we have any more adventures. Aye, aye, aye Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. They've been gone for ages. I hope my boat's all right. 
Look, there they are. Hello. Hello. Ahoy, Ahoy there. there. <laughs> I'll just park the boat. <laughs> you park a car, but you moor a boat. I'll show you. Grandpa Pig is going to moor the boat. The secret of mooring is to do it carefully. Mind the bridge! What? Yeah. Look behind you. you! Ah! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Grandpa has broken his boat. Never mind, Grandpa. You can have lots of fun mending it. It is true that I love mending things. Can I help mend the boat, Grandpa? Oh, ho, ho. of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Stars. It is almost time for bed. Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Peppa are having mugs of hot milk. <laughs> George. Why are you dressed up in that space suit? You should be in your pyjamas. <laughs> George loves everything to do with space. Oh! <laughs> George, take your space helmet off to drink your milk. <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime, little ones. <laughs> At night, George likes to listen to his space mobile. Not space again. <sighs> it's boring. Space isn't boring. It's full of stars. I can't see anything. It's too dark. It's easier to see the stars from outside. Can we go outside now? Pepper, you're in your pyjamas. Maybe if you put your coats on over your pyjamas, we could go outside just this once. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy, why are you lying on the ground? This is the best way to see the stars. <laughs> Look at these little stars. Imagine you are joining the dots. That's called the Big Dipper. Ooh. Yes, and the two stars at the end point to the North Star. Wow! North Star, North Star. Are you near or are you far? Can we get there in the car? <laughs> no, Peppa. The stars are much too far away. Are they even further than the seaside? Oh, yes. But they look a lot closer through a telescope. Have we got a telescope? <coughs> no, but Grandpa Pig has a very good telescope. Can we go to Grandpa Pig's house now? <laughs> it's much too late. Maybe we can go just this once, Daddy Pig. Hooray! It is the first time Peppa and George have been in the car at night. Look, we're following the North Star. <laughs> North Star, North Star, shining with a twinkly glow. Please show us the way to go. <laughs> Peppa and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Oh, dear. I do hope Grandpa and Granny Pig haven't gone to bed. What are you doing here at this hour? We want to see the stars. Peppa and George were hoping they could look through your telescope. I see. Very well. To the top of the house, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Here she is, old Bess. Wow! Grandpa Pig's hobby is looking at the stars. Now, who's for the first look? Me, me, me! Ooh, the North Star! We sailors use it to find our way home. Daddy used it to find his way here. <laughs> oh. Are there other things in the sky? Yes. This is a planet called Saturn. Wow! What are those pretty rings? They are made of rock and ice. Saturn is very, very cold. We could build a snowman, George. <laughs> <laughs> Quick! Look! 
Oh. It's a shooting star. You must make a wish. I wish that when George is old enough to have his own rocket, he will take me into space. <laughs> 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 Granny and Grandpa's attic. Peppa and George are playing at Granny and Grandpa's house today. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Papa Egg. Oh, ho. hello, Peppa. Hello, George. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Where's Granny Pig? Hello, my little ones. That is Granny Pig's voice. But where is she? Granny Pig? Here I am. Granny Pig! Gangy Egg! Why is Granny in the roof? We're tidying the attic. What's the attic? It's where we keep all our old things. Like you, Grandpa Pig. Ha ha! Things that are even older than me. <laughs> Can we help? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Granny and Grandpa's attic is at the very top of the house. That's the door to the attic. How do we get up there? I have a clever trick. Hello, my little ones. It's Granny. Come on up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is our attic. Wow! It's very full. Yes, it's full of old junk. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are here to help us throw some things out. Good. Let's start by throwing out this box. Oh, not that box. Do we really need this? That's my ship in a bottle. And this? That's my other ship in a bottle. And these? They're my other ships in bottles. I need them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to throw something out. Uh, how about this box? No, not my hats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. We can't decide what to throw out. I know. We'll let Pepper and George decide. OK. <laughs> Let's throw away this old case. Oh, oh not, not that, that one. one. This isn't just any old case. It's a record player. Ooh. And this was our favourite record. Can we play it? Yes. Oh, oh we haven't heard it for years. <laughs> Takes me back. <laughs> Come on, Pepper and George. Let's dance. <laughs> 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 Mummy Pig is here to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Where are you? Mummy Pig can't find anyone. What's that noise? <laughs> Hello. We've been dancing to Granny and Grandpa's favourite record. Yes. Granny and Grandpa played it all the time. Ooh. And here's the record I used to play when I was a little piggy. What is it? It's called Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. Not Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. You were always playing that. I thought we'd thrown that out ages ago. The birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. Woof, tweet, woof, tweet, woof, woof, woof. The sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo ba, woof, tweet, woof ba, moo, tweet, woof, woof, woof. Again, again. The birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. Woof, tweet, woof, tweet, woof, woof, woof. The sheep go moo and the cows go ba. That was fun, but we were supposed to be finding some things to throw out. Pepper, what should we throw out and what should we keep? Hmm, I think you should keep everything. <laughs> <laughs> the dentist. Every morning, Pepper and George brush their teeth. <laughs> 
Today, Pepper and George are going to the dentist. Pepper, George, are you ready to go for your checkup? I'm too busy for a checkup. I'm having a tea party with Teddy. Yes, we're very busy. We all need checkups to make sure our teeth are clean and healthy. Okay, Daddy. George, are your teeth clean like mine? It is George's first visit to the dentist. You both have lovely clean teeth. I'm sure the dentist will be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are at the dentist's, waiting for their checkup. Uh, waiting is boring. This magazine's very interesting. It's all about potatoes. <sighs> Peppa, George, the dentist will see you now. Hooray! <laughs> this is Dr Elephant, the dentist. Hello, Peppa. Have you been brushing your teeth? Yes, Dr Elephant. Good. Now, who's first? I'm first because I'm a big girl. Watch me, George. Sit in the chair, please. <laughs> Hold tight. Whee! <laughs> Open wide, please. Ah! Wider, please. Ah! Now, let's take a look. Dr Elephant uses a little mirror to look at Peppa's teeth. I hope you haven't been eating too many sweeties, Peppa. <laughs> it is quite difficult to speak when your mouth is wide open. <laughs> <laughs> there. All done. What lovely clean teeth. She takes after me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have the special pink drink now? Yes, but don't drink it, Pepper. Spit it out. <laughs> George, now it's your turn. No. George does not want it to be his turn. Maybe you can hold Mr Dinosaur while the dentist looks at your teeth. <laughs> Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> Very pleased to meet you, Mr Dinosaur. It's not a real dinosaur. It's made of plastic. <laughs> Hold tight. You're doing very well, George. Now, can you show me your teeth? George does not want to show the dentist his teeth. George, open wide like this. Ah! <laughs> ah! ah, there they are. All done. You have very strong, clean teeth, George. Are they as lovely as mine, Dr Elephant? Ah! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> George is very proud to have clean teeth. George, don't forget the pink drink. <laughs> oh, but wait! What's this? What's wrong, Dr Elephant? George has clean teeth, but this young dinosaur's teeth are very dirty. Oh, no. Dr Elephant is very cross with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Not at all, Pepper. It's my job to make teeth clean. The water jet, please, Miss Rabbit. The dentist uses water to clean Mr Dinosaur's teeth. The polisher, please, Miss Rabbit. This will be a bit noisy. Dr Elephant polishes Mr Dinosaur's teeth. That's right, George. Mr Dinosaur needs some special pink drink. Gosh! What shiny teeth you have, Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> Too scary. George loves Mr Dinosaur, especially now he has nice clean teeth. <laughs> Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> this is my new friend, Leo Lion. Where is he? There's no one there. Susie has made up a pretend friend. Can't you see him, Peppa? Um. <laughs> Let's play catch. OK. To you, Leo. Pepper throws the ball to Susie's pretend friend. Leo can't 
can't catch the ball. He can. He just doesn't like playing catch. What does Leo like doing? He likes to roar. Is he going to roar now? Um, yes. <coughs> roar! Wasn't that you? No, that was Leo. Ah. Hello, Leo. Peppa pretends that she can see Leo Lion. Leo, will you be my friend too? What did he say? He's nodding his head. That means yes. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, would you like to come inside and have some fruitcake? <laughs> Mummy Pig has two slices of fruitcake for Susie and Peppa. Mummy, Susie's got a pretend friend. He's called Leo Lion. I see. And does he like fruitcake too? Rah! Leo loves fruitcake. Don't be silly, Peppa. That wasn't Leo. That was you. Leo prefers chocolate cake. I haven't got chocolate cake. Will Leo have some fruitcake? He will try a little slice. Mummy Pig gives some cake to Susie's pretend friend. <laughs> George is playing with Mr Dinosaur. Dinosaur. George, you're sitting on Leo. George does not know that Susie has a pretend friend. Um, Leo Lion says he can't finish his cake, so George can have it. <laughs> <laughs> can we play upstairs now? Yes, let's play dressing up. I was asking Leo. Oh. Rah! Leo says he likes playing dressing up. Good. Come on, Leo. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are playing dressing up. <laughs> Peppa is going to be a fairy. I grant you one wish. My wish is to be Queen Susie. And Leo Lion will be the jester. He doesn't want to be the jester. He wants to be the king. Here is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Mummy Pig tells me you have a very special visitor. It's only Susie, Daddy. Are you sure there isn't someone else, Peppa? Someone else. King Leo Lion. Rah! Oh, <laughs> it's an honour to meet you, King Leo. Daddy Pig pretends he can see King Leo. May I say what a fine golden mane you have? Yes, it is very fine. And he is wearing his best red trousers. Oh, yes. And his blue jumper. Silly Pepper. Leo isn't wearing a blue jumper. He's wearing his best green shirt. Well, it is sort of a bluey green. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, your friends are here. Peppa's friends are here. They're all wearing their boots. Let's jump in muddy puddles. Yes! <laughs> are you sure Leo should jump in puddles without his boots? Oh, I forgot. Leo's wearing his boots as well. <laughs> Look at Leo. He's jumping up and down too. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Even pretend friends. <laughs> the baby piggy. Peppa and George are visiting their big cousin, Chloe. Today, as well as seeing Chloe, you are going to meet your new cousin. Ooh. Peppa and her family have arrived at Chloe's house. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa and George. This is Chloe, Peppa and George's big cousin. But where's our new cousin? Here's your new baby cousin. Ooh. The new cousin is a tiny baby piggy. Goo, goo, goo. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. Is it a girl, baby? No, it's a boy. Oh, I wish it was a girl. Me too. <laughs> George is pleased the baby is a boy. Dinosaur. I think the baby's too little to play with dinosaurs. George, the baby doesn't want to play with you. It wants to play with me. Peppa, the baby is much too little to play ball games. 
But if it can't play with a dinosaur or a ball, what can it do? It eats and it sleeps. <coughs> and it does that. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Pig, can I hold the baby? Yes. If you're very careful, you can hold Alexander. Alexander? That's his name. Baby Alexander. What a big name for such a small piggy. It's quite nice, even though it's a boy. Goo, goo, goo. Oh, what's that smell? Maybe Alexander's nappy needs changing. Ugh, disgusting. Peppa, when you were a baby, you wore nappies. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can I play with Peppa and George in the garden? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Chloe, is it nice having a little baby brother? Yes. Alexander is very sweet. I wish George was a sweet little baby piggy. I know. George can pretend to be a baby piggy. He can go in my doll's pram. That's a good idea. No. George does not want to be a baby. George, if you pretend to be a baby, I promise to be nice to you forever and ever. George is thinking. And you can play with all my toys. George is thinking more. And when we get home, you can play with all my toys. <laughs> George has decided. Goo, goo, goo. What a sweet baby piggy. <laughs> Here are Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit and Zoe Zebra. Hello. <laughs> Why is George in that doll's pram? It's not George. It's a baby piggy. Goo, goo. But it is George. George is a pretend baby piggy. Ah. Is this a girl or a boy? It's a girl. No. George does not want to be a girl baby. OK. It's a boy. <laughs> I've got some cookies. Would the baby piggy like one? Oh, no. It can't eat cookies. <laughs> George likes cookies. Maybe it can have one cookie. <laughs> goo goo! It's so clever and so handsome! <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. It's the best baby piggy ever. George likes this game. <laughs> Here is Auntie Pig with baby Alexander. Wow! A proper real baby piggy! <laughs> <laughs> it's so gorgeous! It's much sweeter than George. Oh dear, George liked being the baby piggy. Oh, George, you'll always be my baby piggy. <laughs> Maybe it's time for a new game. How about some dinosaur chasing? <laughs> Eek! Too scary! <laughs> George liked being a baby piggy, but he likes being George more. The long grass. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing in the garden. <laughs> oh! The grass has not been cut for a while. It has grown very long. Come on, George! <laughs> George! Where are you? I can't see you. <laughs> George, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Pepper and George cannot see each other. <laughs> Pepper and George love playing in the long grass. Daddy Pig is going to read his newspaper. Ah, what a nice day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. Oh, goodness me, Daddy Pig. We've let the garden get a bit out of control. What do you mean, Mummy Pig? The grass. It needs cutting. Oh, I quite like it. It's the wild garden look. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, come and play in the long grass. It's fun. <laughs> OK, let's all play with this spotty ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's it gone? The ball is lost in the long grass. Now we'll never find it. Hmm. Maybe it is time to cut the grass. Yes, Daddy Pig. I'll get the lawnmower. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. 
Daddy Pig has found the lawnmower. It's a bit old and rusty. Nonsense. It'll have the grass cut in no time. It does seem a bit rusty. Maybe I should phone Grandpa Pig and ask if we can borrow his lawnmower. There's no need to phone Grandpa. I just need to push a bit harder. Daddy Pig's lawnmower is not very good. Oh. I know. Let's phone Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Could you help us cut some very long grass? Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Certainly. I'll be over right away. Bye. I think this is a job for Betsy. Grandpa Pig is driving his motor mower over to Peppa's house. Grandpa Pig! Papa Egg! Hello, everyone. I hear there's some grass that needs cutting. And it's just a bit too long for my lawnmower. <laughs> Don't worry. Betsy will have it done in no time. Is your lawnmower called Betsy? She certainly is. <laughs> Hello, Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, can we ride on Betsy? Of course you can. Hop aboard. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. We'll have this grass cut in no time. Hold tight. Here we go. <laughs> Betsy is very good at cutting grass. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> there. Finished. Grandpa, you've missed a bit. Oh, yes. What's this? Oh, the spotty ball. <laughs> thank you for finding our ball, Grandpa. And thank you for cutting the grass. Cutting grass is easy with Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> now we can play with our spotty ball. <laughs> to you, Daddy. The ball bounces very well on the short grass. <laughs> to you, George. <laughs> Papa Egg! Oh, 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 oh. Catch! <laughs> <laughs> the balloon ride! It is the day of the school fete. Miss Rabbit is running the raffle. Roll up, roll up! The top prize is a ride in my hot air balloon. Wow! That sounds fun! <laughs> Can I have a ticket, please? The blue ticket wins! A toy car! Well done, Danny! <laughs> Can I have a ticket, please? Thank you, Peppa. What are you hoping to win? The balloon ride! Wouldn't it be nicer to win the homemade chocolate cake? Daddy Pig loves homemade chocolate cake. <laughs> the red ticket wins... The balloon ride! Hooray! All aboard for the balloon ride! How many passengers, please? Four, please. And Teddy. Dinosaur. Oh, and a Teddy and a dinosaur. That makes six. All aboard. <laughs> Hurry up, Daddy Pig. Hop aboard. Quick, Daddy. Splice the main brace. Chalks away. Full steam ahead. Very impressive, Miss Rabbit. You must be an expert pilot. Not really. This is the first time I've ever flown a balloon. Oh. Hold tight! Miss Rabbit heats up the air in the balloon to make it rise into the sky. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> Would anyone like to do the map reading? I will. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? I'm very good at map reading. Oh, this map is a bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go higher? Yes, please. Higher, higher! The balloon is rising high into the sky. Oh, where did the sky go? Don't worry, Peppa. We're just flying through a cloud. Ooh. Wow, the sky is back again. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> big balloon, big balloon. 
Bigger than the sun and moon Flying high in the sky Fly and fly and fly and fly <laughs> <laughs> Look, Teddy, we're flying really high Peppa, be careful you don't drop Teddy, I've dropped Teddy <gasps> <gasps> Don't worry, Peppa, we'll rescue Teddy Hold tight, everybody We're going down Miss Rabbit is making the balloon go down so that Teddy can be rescued. I can't see Teddy anywhere. There he is. Teddy's caught in a tree. I can use this anchor to rescue Teddy. Slowly. Slowly. There. Daddy Pig has rescued Teddy. Teddy! Hooray! <laughs> oh dear. No one is looking where they are going. Tree straight ahead! Hold tight! Oh. First Teddy was stuck in a tree, and now we are stuck in a tree. Daddy Pig, do you know where we are? Uh, we are lost, aren't we? Yes. Oh. Look, everyone! That's Granny and Grandpa's house. Yes, we must be in Grandpa Pig's garden. As I thought. Ahoy there! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig! Goodness me! Ahoy there, Miss Rabbit! Uh, help, please! Grandpa! We can't get down! Don't worry, I've got a ladder! Hooray! Everyone climbs down from the big balloon. Granny, Grandpa! <laughs> Miss Rabbit took us for a ride in her big balloon. How very exciting. <laughs> I'm afraid the most exciting thing we can offer is a piece of my homemade chocolate cake. Homemade chocolate cake? That is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best balloon ride ever. <laughs> and that was the best chocolate cake ever. <laughs> 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 Daddy Pig's office. Today, as a special treat, Peppa and George are visiting Daddy Pig's office. Daddy, what do you do at your office all day? Lots of fun things. You'll see. This is the building where Daddy Pig works. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> yes? Hello, it's Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig. Can I press the button too? <laughs> of course, Pepper. Yes? It's me. Oh, hello, me. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> My office is on the top floor. We have to go up in the lift. Can I press the button? I think it's George's turn. Press the top button, George. <laughs> Ooh. The lift is taking Pepper, George and Daddy Pig up to the very top floor. Wow! Top floor, doors opening. <laughs> this is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Mr Rabbit and Mrs Cat work with Daddy Pig. I've brought two very special visitors with me today. <laughs> Pepper and George. What an honour. Let's begin the tour. Mr Rabbit, can we start at your desk? We certainly can. <clears throat> My job is all about numbers. I take very important pieces of paper, I take a rubber stamp, and I stamp the paper. Wow! What a great job Mr Rabbit has. Can I do some stamping? Of course. I'll just find you some paper. Here's some paper. <laughs> uh, maybe we should use some blank paper. Here you are. Peppa likes stamping with rubber stamps. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. <laughs> <laughs> On with the tour. Next up is Mrs Cat's desk. Meow. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. My job is all about drawing shapes on the computer. Ooh! Then I print the shapes out. Wow! <laughs> and here's another copy. Thank you. What a nice job Mrs Cat has. Can I have a 
go. Maybe it's George's turn now. That's right, George. It's your turn to do some work. <laughs> George is making blue triangles. Now we print them out. <laughs> <laughs> I like doing Mrs Cat's job. <laughs> Do you want to see my desk now? Yes, please. <laughs> this is Daddy Pig's desk. My job is quite complicated. I take big numbers, transmute them and calculate their load-bearing tangents. Daddy Pig's job sounds very important. Do you use rubber stamps? No. Do you use a computer? No, but I do use colouring pens. Daddy, can we draw with your colouring pens? Good idea. <laughs> Pepper and George love drawing with colouring pens. I'm drawing a house. George is drawing a dinosaur. <laughs> George always draws dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! Five o'clock already. It is home time. I say, what a splendid picture of a house. And what a fierce dinosaur. George and I have been doing Daddy's job. And they've been doing it very well. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. And I like doing Mrs Cat's job. But I like doing Daddy's job the best. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny creatures. Peppa and George are helping Grandpa Pig pick vegetables. Peppa, here is a lettuce. Thank you, Grandpa. Oh, what's that? There's a horrible monster on it. <laughs> monster. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. that's not a monster. It's just a little snail. Where has he gone? He's hiding in his shell. Is that where he lives? Yes, it's his house. Look, he's coming out again. Hello, Mr Snail. <laughs> Grandpa, does Mr Snail have a bed in his house? Oh, oh, no, Peppa. If I were a snail, I'd have a bed and a table and a chair and a fridge. And a television. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, what do snails eat? Well, mostly they eat my vegetables. Oi, stop that, you cheeky rascal. <laughs> Grandpa, George and I want to play cheeky snails. <laughs> These baskets can be your shells. There. Now you look like two cheeky snails. <laughs> and I'm going to eat up all Grandpa Pig's lettuce. Oi! Keep off my lovely lettuce, you cheeky snails. <laughs> and when Grandpa Pig shouts at me, I'll hide in my little house. <laughs> <laughs> All of Peppa's friends are here. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Susie. Have you come to play with Peppa and George? Yes. I don't know where they are. <laughs> it's just me and these two snails here. We are cheeky snails. We are cheeky snails. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> we were pretending to be snails. <laughs> Can we be snails too? I don't think I have enough baskets for you all. Aww. You could be something else, though. Something exciting from the garden. A carrot? Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. No, Rebecca, not carrots. Come over here. <laughs> What's that buzzing sound? It's coming from that little house. Grandpa, why is that doll's house making a funny buzzing noise? That's not a doll's house, Peppa. It's a bee's house. It's called a hive. Ooh. Look, here's one now. What's she doing? <laughs> <laughs> 
She's collecting nectar from the flower, and then she flies back to the hive to make it into honey. Hmm, I like honey. Let's pretend to be bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Yes, let's be bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> buzz, 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 My, buzz, buzz. what busy bees. Yes, we're busy bees. Buzz. Now we must fly back to our hive to make honey. Buzz! <laughs> Goodness me, what do we have here? Granny, we're busy bees. Buzz! Ah, would you busy bees like some toast? Yes, please! And what would you like on your toast? Honey! That's lucky, because that's what I've made. Toast and honey. Hooray! I like being a bee because they eat lots of lovely honey. I like being a snail because they eat all Grandpa's lettuce. <laughs> Oi! Oh. You cheeky rascal. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs>